it's devastating what they've done and just how could they and they make me sick. This mother, who we are not identifying, says she's one of the families listed in the suit. According to the lawsuit, the mother says the teacher is heard allegedly stating she wanted to break her son's fingers. The lawsuit also alleges there's audio documentation of the teacher kicking a student in the chest and saying she hopes a sleeping student never wakes up. The lawsuit also alleges each child suffered not only physical injury, emotional injuries, but also had their development delayed. That's extremely hard to know where he could be. They just robbed him of whatever opportunity he had to make progress. These kids really can't have a conversation with their parents. Attorney Charles Branton filed the lawsuit. He says administration should have better monitored the classroom. The classroom has a glass window on the door where you can see in. They covered it up. So if you went by the classroom, you couldn't see what was going on. And that should not be the case. The documents also allege the administration of Covington Elementary advised parents that bruising, scratching, and biting were all part of the normal education process. How could you betray our trust? Why you chose to be there? Why would you do this to them? These kids depended on you. The, I mean, it seemed like they hated them because I wouldn't treat any child like that, much less a special needs child. We reached out to the school system. They declined to comment, citing this as a legal matter. I also reached out to some of the former employees listed in those documents. We were not able to get a comment from them today. Reporting live in Covington, Aubrey Killian, WDSU News.